Hi there, Jerry and Erica. Yes, so the clouds that came in with those thunderstorms a little earlier today, cooling our atmosphere down a bit, so the atmosphere a little bit more on the stable side, but we still got some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing. There's round one moving out of our area. Here comes round two out of the west. Non-severe, but some small hail and gusty winds still possible with this activity. Look at this one headed into Streeter in southern sections of LaSalle County. Also one moving through Earl. A little bit heftier of a thunderstorm that will clip parts of northwestern DeKalb County. Boone and McHenry County will keep an eye on that one as it passes just to the south of Rockford and we're going to be looking at additional showers and thunderstorms to develop but for the most part seeing below severe weather limits as they move from west to east. So the forward speed on this line is around 50 miles per hour. We put some rain into Calp at 524, Woodstock at 538, Aurora at 549, Elgin at 550, Joliet just at the top of the hour, Waukegan at around 615 and if it holds together Chicago Loop at 630 as those thunderstorms again continue to move into an atmosphere that was worked over a little earlier today with some rain and thunder and even some gusty winds and small hail, especially south of Chicago. It's 75 now at Midway, 72 at Gary, 71 at the Loop, and 74 for the current temperature in Joliet. Brand new model coming in just in the last 10 minutes, doing a good job showing that line of showers and thunderstorms in the next hour, western suburbs, and then into Chicago as we get a little closer to 630 and 7 o'clock. Gusty winds, small hail possible. A brief pulse up to severe weather limits is possible, but we're not looking at widespread severe weather this evening. Just some gusty thunderstorms accompanied with some hail. There could have a couple of thunderstorms left over around 10 o'clock. We'll keep an eye on that. But beyond that, we're going to dry out and watch this. We're going to clear out and this is going to set us up for a fantastic Saturday. Sunshine in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. High temperatures on Saturday at 77 with lighter winds and low humidity. Just a fantastic day with highs ranging from low 70s near the lakeshore to upper 70s inland a like 78 in Joliet. Get your weekend outdoor plans in on Saturday because Sunday, not that great of a day. 100% chance of rain in the forecast, but it's not a washout all day Sunday. So if you do have some plans, there will be some windows of dry weather. Here's 7 a.m. on Sunday. We're dry. By mid morning, we have a line of showers and thunderstorms working through gusty winds and some hail possible with this first line coming in around mid morning into the early afternoon. And then watch this hour and hour and hours of dry weather until late afternoon and evening time thunderstorms develop on Sunday and Sunday afternoon evening thunderstorms could be severe. That's why a weather alert has been posted. Shower chances at 30% for Monday and Tuesday. If you have some plans, Memorial Day at 73, Tuesday at 71 will cool down just a bit by midweek and then start to warm temperatures up again late next week. Right. Thank you, Albert.